What's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to deploy a smart contract to scroll. Step one is we have to download MetaMask. MetaMask is the most popular wallet right now. It's how we're going to store our ETH and actually sign the transaction. To download MetaMask, we're going to come to the MetaMask website, metamask.io. Then we can just click download here, and it's going to take us to this download page. MetaMask is a Chrome extension, so we're going to have to open it in this Chrome extension page. Once we come to the Chrome download page, there's going to be a button in the top right, download it. I already have it downloaded, so it says remove instead. Once you install it, you're going to have to set it up. You're going to have to remember a secret phrase for your account. Once that's done, then you can click on this box icon and you'll see your account with the balance. Now that we have our wallet all set up, we have to get some tests on ETH. So I just Googled for a Sapoli ETH faucet. This allows us to get tests on ETH without paying any money. You can really use any of these, but I'm going to go ahead and use Alchemy's. To use the faucet, all we have to do is create an account and then we can request funds. So now that we connected our account, I'm just going to get my address for MetaMask and paste it in here. Perfect, so we received our testnet ETH, and we can see this ETH exchange transaction to confirm the receipt of it. So now that we have our testnet ETH, we have to bridge this over to scroll. So I've come over to the scroll bridge, it's at scroll.io slash bridge. And this is actually the mainnet bridge, so if I wanted to bridge and deploy to scroll mainnet, I would use this, and I would be able to switch my ether onto scroll mainnet. We're using the testnet because we don't want to spend any money right now, so if you see this button right here, testnet bridge, we're actually going to click that one. And that takes us here to this Polia testnet bridge. So now I can just connect my wallet. And now I can decide how much I want to bridge over. So our transaction confirmed on this Polia testnet. To be available on scroll, it's going to take about 20 minutes. Okay, so you made it to step four. Now all we have to do is deploy our contract. So I came over to Atlas. The website is atlasdk.com. This is an in-browser IDE that lets you easily deploy your contract. First click start building and it'll open the app. So here we have a basic Hello World contract. This is just the starter project on Atlas, but we can put any code that we want here as long as it's valid solidity and it compiles. And now all we have to do to deploy is just press the deploy button. But notice we're on the wrong network, we're on Atlas VM. So we have to actually switch to scroll to deploy to it. So I'm gonna come over to this network selector, click view all networks. And I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. I could click scroll mainnet if I wanted to deploy to mainnet, but since we're deploying to testnet, I'm gonna click testnet. And then it's just gonna ask me to switch network. So now we're ready to deploy, let's do it. And that was literally it. It's now deployed on Sepolia testnet. We can even interact with the contract right here. I can call this increment function and it's gonna ask me to sign a transaction and it will actually interact and run this function on the real chain. And the cool thing is we can actually check out the contract on the Block Explorer as well. Here's the contract we deployed. We can see it got automatically verified for us with Atlas, which is pretty cool. And we can also see the transactions here. I call this increment function right now, and so I can see that this actually was ran. So that's all for today's tutorial. Now you know how to deploy a contract to scroll.